who is Rebecca Lomon? Thank you. First and foremost, I want to appreciate this opportunity given by Baringo News. SK, so, my name is Rebecca mm -hmm. Arupe Lomong Ruto. Arupe is a new name now. I think it is a new name to most of <laughs> us here. Uh -huh. yeah, Rebecca yeah, Arupe yeah. Lomong. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ar Arupe, Arupe Lomong Ruto. Mm -hmm. uh, my clan is Toyoi. Mm -hmm. That's me. Toyoi the Rain. Toyoi the Rain, Ropta. Uh -huh. Ilat. <laughs> that's me, that's my mm -hmm. clan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, oh, my home is Kabartonjo, mm -hmm. that's Baringo North, mm -hmm. a village called Kipkogom. That's where I live with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, I am married, blessed with children. I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. AIC, Kabartonjo, that's where I worship. Mm -hmm. uh, I was born and raised in a village called Tangul Bay, mm -hmm. that's Tiati. Yeah. Uh, you said you hosted Tiati MP recently. Yeah. Yeah, that's the MP of my, the place where I was born and raised, that's Tangul Bay. I basically grew up in Tangul Bay village. I'm a Safana girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and I'm so proud to be a Safana girl. Great. But oh. now I'm in the Highland. Savannah, you were born and raised in Tangul Bay. Yes. I'm sure someone is interested to know about your education background. Yeah. Ulizaliwa Tangul Bay, where did you school? Yes, mm -hmm. that's where I'm heading to. Yeah. I school in Tangul Bay Primary School. Mm -hmm. It's a public school. Mm -hmm. uh, all through until I did my KCP, that's 1997. I sat for KCP in 1997. Oh. Then I proceeded to high school. I, will, I came to Kituru High School here, that's in Baringo Central. Mm -hmm. After that, I cleared my Form 4 in 2001. Mm -hmm. uh, then I proceeded to Moi University, yeah. Chepoil El Campus by then. Mm -hmm. It's now called University of Eldoret, where I did Bachelor of Education Science. Ah, oh, any more limb? I'm a teacher by <laughs> profession. <laughs> oh, that's a surprise. Yes, uh -huh. I teach mathematics and chemistry. I'm actually supposed to teach mathematics and chemistry, mm -hmm. but I didn't. I didn't manage to teach. I didn't even get to class. Immediately, I got employment even before my graduation. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a chance to serve World Vision and an internship program mm -hmm. for one year. Mm -hmm. So that was immediately just before graduation. I joined World Vision. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I got employed. Mm -hmm. I did a good job during my internship. Mm -hmm. So I got employed with World Vision. Mm -hmm. So that means I didn't get again interest to go back to teach. I decided to divert and concentrate with community work. So I went back to school and I did Masters mm -hmm. in Development Studies. Masters Why? in Development Studies. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that it can be relevant with development work that I was doing uh -huh. at the moment. Was that influenced by your job at that time yes while this the is world, world vision, vision. Uh -huh. it's a non-governmental organization mm -hmm. it's a humanitarian organization it's mm -hmm. about serving people and transforming lives through uh, empowering them yeah. so i decided to go to school so that i can be able to learn how to touch lives directly mm -hmm. uh, that's when i did my masters mm -hmm. which the, university uh, i went back to more university uh -huh. yes 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 then after that i served world vision for seven years mm -hmm. yeah seven years so that is from which year to which year that's from 2006 september mm -hmm. i did the internship for one year mm -hmm. then after that i got employed straight away uh -huh. so my i i resigned from world vision in 2013 when i joined county government uh -huh. yes so f from a teacher to a community yes. development person yes yes how was the swing like? How did you get to adapt from being trained as a person to teach and now going to handle community related issues? You know the beautiful thing with teaching, it's a social science. Uh -huh. Education is social science, mm -hmm. so it's about people. Mm -hmm. You know teachers also touch lives directly. But you went, you studied science, you are a STEM person. Yes, I did chemistry, chemistry and, mathematics. and mathematics. Yes, but it's all in all, it's a social <laughs> science. It's so a, the aspect of teaching now yeah. in the social science. Yeah, now, yeah, teaching is a social it, uh -huh. science. Yes, mm. yes. So that's when I was able to deal with the community, and I got a lot of passion with that. So when with World Vision, which mm. which communities were you working with at that time? Was it in Baringo? Or oh, where exactly? yeah, 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 yeah. When I got employed, my first employment, like the internship one, I served at 
Chemolingot. Uh -huh. That's Nginyang ADP. Mm -hmm. Then I got employed and I was posted to Koloa. Mm -hmm. That's Koloa office. Mm -hmm. After that, I was transferred to Tinderet. That's mm -hmm. in Nandi. Mm -hmm. I served there for another two years. Mm -hmm. Then I got transferred again to Moiben. Mm -hmm. I was a project officer in charge of education, mm -hmm. HIV and AIDS mm -hmm. projects. These are projects under the organization. Yeah. So I served in Moibeki up to 2013 when mm -hmm. I got a job to come to the county. Well, from the NGO world to county government. Yes. What was your role? at the county public service board as i had hinted earlier maybe yes mm -hmm. maybe before that i i also did a diploma in human resource oh yes i did a diploma in human resource management uh -huh. i also did a diploma in entrepreneurship development and this gave me a chance to come to the county government mm -hmm. when devolution came Mm -hmm. uh, some jobs were advertised from the CECs. Mm -hmm. then after CECs, the board positions were advertised what I'm seeing from your journey, almost everything that you do is informed by something. Yes. What made you to take a higher diploma in HR and a higher, another higher diploma in, you say? Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Business. Ninini kakuskuma ukailekea HR and entrepreneurship at the center. Yes, yes, yes. Now for HR, mm -hmm. after doing Masters in Development Studies, mm -hmm. I decided that I also needed to, uh, to know how to handle people. Mm -hmm. Being a project officer is majorly about dealing with people. Mm -hmm. That's why I decided to do higher diploma in human resource. Mm -hmm. But luckily, this position of uh, member of county assembly public county public service board mm -hmm. was advertised yeah. and it's about human resource mm -hmm. and that's how, that's how I was able to get the job and while at the county public service board the yes. first PCSB yes what was uh, with your with, with your with your with your knowledge on issues HR did you hold a position that had such a regard or yes County Public Service Board is majorly about employment, yeah. about discipline, mm -hmm. about uh, interviewing staff mm -hmm. and appointing them to positions, establishment of offices. Mm -hmm. uh, the first board was able to uh, establish structures, yeah. all the structures, mm -hmm. right from the offices of the ward and means, mm -hmm. the chief officers, everything was new by then because the evolution was new was to us. New, yes. So the board came in so that they can establish those structures and ensure that we put people in those offices. Yeah. So my higher diploma could really go well with the position. Oh, yes. That's, that's really a score in my opinion. And yes. of course, uh, I'm sure someone is trying to link the match that you've achieved with your age. Yeah, I also, uh, I also did <laughs> a PhD in Gender and Development Studies. Uh -huh. we'll so we are there. You speaking with Dr. Lamont here. <laughs> almost, almost <laughs> graduating. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm getting to learn a lot about you and I'm sure anybody who is watching is very interested in that. So Mwishimiwa, we've known Thank about you. your mm -hmm. um, education background and where you're born. We've also known where you're married. Yeah. You have, that means you have a family. Yes. And even from the picture that you sent us to create a poster, it, your your ring was very conspicuous. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you want us to know about the family? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. As I said, I was brought up in Tangut Bay. I'm a firstborn in a family of sixteen. Eh? Yes. Uh, family of sixteen. Yes. One mother. No. Oh. We are pastoralists. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is we are just pastoralists. Yeah, we are that just pastoralists and we are Africans. Uh -huh. Yes, then um, uh, of course I, I was just basically raised in that normal village life. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, all along I've been in Baringo. I think I was born here, schooled here, I've worked here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got married to Mr. Ruto. Oh, so that's where the name... Lomong Ruto, Ruto yes. comes in. Yes, Aha. yes. Yeah, Ruto is my husband's name. Lomong is my father's name. Arupe is And your... Rebecca Arupe. Arupe. Ar that is Rebecca my Arupe. name. Those are your name. Yes, Aha. yes, yes, yes. So yes, Arupe yes. is a middle name. Yes. What does Arupe mean? Does it Arupe, have an, a meaning? Yes, Arupe has a meaning. Uh -huh. It's own set of rains. You know these rains that come around this, uh, uh -huh. not this time, around October there, after the major rains. So we call it my language, Arupetin, mm -hmm. you know, 
So and Arupa is a name shared between Pokot and Turkana. Yeah. So when I go to Turkana and identify myself as a Rupe, mm -hmm. they will get us so much along with me. And you have an advantage because and you know rain, are, yeah. you know when it's the onset of rain, those are just blessings. So Arupe is just a blessing. And your clan also is is again to your Europa, you know. Well, so it's all about blessings. <laughs> <laughs> Politically, of course, <laughs> I think uh, whoever is watching uh, could yeah. be trying to make or rather con connect the two, yeah, yeah, uh, the, the yeah, relationship yeah, between yeah. the two. Now, yeah, so that's about my marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I live in Kabartonjo, mm -hmm. but uh, I also have side us on Kabarnet. Mm -hmm. So Baringo Central is mm -hmm. our second home, mm -hmm. other than Kabartonjo. Side hustle. Yes, side hustle. Side hustle, Mugani mm -hmm. Side hustle, my share to Beshara. I have done entrepreneurship. Uh -huh. So I do business, kidogo, kidogo. That's your family? Yeah. Your children? Yeah, I have mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. I'm, sere, sere. I'm a mother of five. Uh -huh. Yes, my first born is in high school. Mm -hmm. A candidate mm -hmm. from four. Wow. Yeah. Ongezi. Yeah. And the designate last born? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the last born is in primary. Uh -huh. Yeah, the law lower, lower primary. You know, I'm asking you that because yeah. when vying for a seat, mm -hmm. most of the time such things come up. They do. And they do. We are trying to save you the headache of explaining yourself. Yeah. And every time a woman rises and says they want to buy for a given seat, the first thing is, are you married? Yeah. The second thing would be, is your family intact? Yeah. <laughs> Well, we I don't know why that. women we have to go through this. And you know, for men, you are not asked those questions. SK. We, we, we will we'll yeah. get to that. So, we've gotten to know about your family, your yeah. career. Thank you. What are you doing right, currently? Yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Rebecca currently works with Baringo County Assembly mm -hmm. as an external board member for Baringo County Assembly Service Board. Mm -hmm. It's so much related with what I used to do. 2013 2019 mm -hmm. as i told you earlier i served as a member for baringo county public service board mm -hmm. that was a six-year tenure which expired in 2019 mm -hmm. so after that uh, a job was advertised uh, around march this year mm -hmm. and i was able to go through the interview process and i was successful i got appointed uh, around may this year mm -hmm. for the position is a one-year contract uh, on part-time basis mm -hmm. uh, which is good i want to give back i'm also you know with all this education we belong to this county it's also good to give that skill mm -hmm. the experience i got in the public service board that is one of the reasons i got considered yeah so that's what i'm doing at the moment i see so Thank you. how long have you been serving at the county assembly and if we had to say cumulatively, how much time have you worked in government compared to private? Okay. In private, I served around seven years. Mm -hmm. And now in the government, if I had, uh, if I do the six years and this, let's talk of around 13 years. Let's say six years, seven years this side, seven years the other side. Comes around 14 years of experience. Wow. 13 years and some months, yeah. That, that, that's a lot. Yeah. And I think we'll also look at that and try and relate if it was a job interview that we were having. Yes. How much time of experience do you have? Oh, yes. Uh, what I've done, uh, what I've done when I was in the NGO sector and the county, I think, I've done many things. Uh, I think that one of the achievements that I was proud of is that I was able to do a proposal and it was fully funded by the government of Germany to eradicate FGM and yeah. early marriages. Mm -hmm. That is in Koloa, TRT I, generally. I mentioned that. Uh -huh. I mentioned that. That's mm -hmm. one of the achievements that I'm proud of because mm -hmm. it was funded to a, a tune of 10 million mm -hmm. and it was a project to last for one year and we were able to do a lot and our girls are now going to school. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what I can say. But other than that, I was able to do several things. We were able to, 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 to train girls to train women, to do start kits for, for the women, mm -hmm. uh, to even, you know, train even women on kitchen gardening. You reduce a budget that you could have gone to buy vegetables and you empower someone with skills that your family can still be comfortable, you can have balanced diet. Yeah. And these are things that are doable. So I've done 
most of those things and it may not be big projects. I've not done roads or health or work, but I've touched lives in small way that is impacting them. And that uh, that sounds like given you're trying to say, given an opportunity, you would... I'll do more yeah. because now going for us, that, those are some of the things that are informing me to go for this big position. Because mm -hmm. now I'll be more of in charge than when I was under somebody. Yeah. Next is about empower how many people have I empowered since I came to County Assembly. Mm -hmm. I came to the County Assembly in the month of May and I may not really say I've empowered many people but if you've been following me I've really worked closely with the youth I've promoted uh, football teams with balls. Uh, it may not be much but that's what I have many to do from my own initiative, my own salary, yes. But now given the chance, I have this big plan. There are many things that we can do. Given a chance, if you people give me a chance to be the next women rep of Baringo County Assembly, yeah. I got an elaborate plan for our county. I'll be able to do more.